doesn't seem to be damaged, we leave the lid open and dry it off. The needle on the gauge seems to be moving up a little. Maybe the radium in the unit's throwing off energy. He got the control gadget. Let's go. That looks like trouble. Get going, Claire. as the control unit is doomed. that Captain Mephisto was holding the control unit when it exploded. If so, he'll never know it was your oscillator which caused the explosion. You'll regret that act the rest of your life, Forrest. At least your plans will never succeed. The transmitter is useless without a control unit. But my dear professor, you're going to build me another one. Immediately. Not if my life depends on it. Your life does depend on it. Think it over carefully. almost overtook us when the explosion occurred. It's outrageous that such things could happen on our island. Have you any suggestions, Mr. Reardon, as to what we might do? Not at present, but we are not going to stop until we find Professor Forrest. Are you going to be sensible about carrying out my orders? Or do you need persuasion? I haven't changed my mind. Captain Mephisto! Our men were blown up by that power control unit. Reardon and the girl threw it overboard right in front of them. I know all about that. Did you follow them and do anything about it? Well, Reardon was on. I'm but... tired of alibis and excuses. That's what I get after all I've done for him. It looks as if a nice long sea voyage might be good for your health. You're not so wrong. If I had the money, I'd get off this island in a hurry. You spoke with Reardon. Do you happen to know the name of the girl who's here with him? No, I don't. Does she look like this? Why, yes. That's her. 
Your daughter? Yes. She and Reardon came here to find you, but they haven't got a chance against Mephisto. If you'll help them arrange my escape, I'll see that you receive more than enough money to get you off this island. Mephisto would kill me if he caught me. Then don't let him catch you. Write your daughter a note telling her to meet me. I'll talk it over with her and see what we can fix up. That's a bargain, Brad. Tell her to come alone and say nothing about it to anyone. Claire, I am alive and well, but a prisoner. Say nothing about this to anyone, but hurry to meet a friend of mine at... Uh, Pinnacle Rocks. All right, when do I get my dough and how much? As soon as I'm away from here, I'll see that you receive $5,000. I'm taking a long chance on you, Professor. immediately. May I drive you somewhere, Miss Forrest? No, thank you. I'll have to go alone. Then take my car. It's uh, just outside. Thank you. Ruga, will you tell Miss Forrest that I'm back? She left a short while ago, sir. Did she say where she was going? No. As she received a message, barred Mr. Melton's car and hurried off. She seemed very excited. Do you know who the message was from? No. But it came in that envelope. Thank you. This is her father's writing. into a trap. B6 calling CM. B6 calling CM. Come in, PM. This is CM. Go ahead, B6. Your orders have been carried out, Captain Mephisto. The girl is here. I'll come there at once and take charge of her personally. Yes, sir. Toss that gun away.
Hurry, Lance. Captain Mephisto's on his way here. I'll be ready for him. My car's at Pinnacle Rocks. Get it and bring it back here. But you can't face him unarmed. I'll find that man's gun. Go out through the window. 